Good evening and welcome to the Bit Report. Tonight's segment features RNA sequencing. Your hosts tonight are Caitlin, a senior in genetics, Nicole, a senior in biology, Tanner, a junior in chemical engineering, and Brianna, a junior in biochemistry. Segment tonight. My name is Caitlin and we will be talking about a relatively new technique being used today in laboratories called RNA sequencing. RNA sequencing, or more commonly referred to as RNA-seq, is used to understand what genes are being expressed in a particular tissue at a particular time. This technique yields more specific information than its close relative, DNA sequencing. While DNA sequencing also tells you what's in the genome, RNA-seq will tell you what DNA of the genome is expressed. Multiple types of RNA can be sequenced, including mRNA, tRNA, rRNA, and siRNA. The term RNA-seq has been in use since 2008 and has been found in about 7,000 publications since then. RNA-seq's roots go far beyond this year, however. Where its true origin lies is arguable due to the fact that RNA-seq stemmed from the previously established methods of DNA sequencing, thus making the histories of RNA and DNA sequencing heavily intertwined. One thing is for sure, though, RNA-seq got a strong push forward thanks largely to the development of next-generation sequencing technologies starting in 2005. Next-generation sequencing is an umbrella term for various modern-day sequencing technologies such as Illumina, Roach-454-seq, and ion torret seq to find more details on the history of RNA sequencing, visit the timeline on our webpage. I will now turn it over to my co-host Nicole, who will tell us a little more about RNA-Seq's protocol. So what is the protocol for RNA sequencing? There are four main steps to prepare samples for RNA-Seq. RNA preparation and purification, fragmentation, preparation of the cDNA library, which is the most important step, as well as sequencing and analysis of statistical data. What separates RNA-seq from traditional DNA sequencing methods is the ability to identify alternative splicing and allelic expression levels by using cDNA as a reference. Each step is absolutely vital for a successful sequencing experience. While these are general steps, the protocol varies based on the purpose of the experiment. To find out more about RNA-seq procedures, visit the protocol page featured on our RNA-seq website. And now here's Tanner for some advantages of RNA sequencing. Tonight, are you using the right sequencing method? A certain method out there might be the one you need. RNA-seq offers many advantages over other sequencing techniques such as microarrays and DNA sequencing. While other microarrays are limited to sequencing a small number of already identified genes, RNA-seq allows for the sequencing of massive sections of the genome, including genes not yet identified. RNA-seq can also sequence a comparable amount of genes to DNA sequencing but is cheaper. While RNA-seq does have its advantages, different situations require different sequencing techniques depending on your goals. To see further comparisons, check out advantages of RNA sequencing. To Brianna with new and noteworthy applications. RNA-seq has revolutionized the way gene expression is analyzed. With faster and more accurate results, RNA-seq has improved the study of medical conditions such as cancer and immunodeficiency disorders. Our understanding of gene expression in other organisms has improved, and much more is to be learned with RNA-seq technology. Just how many applications are there of RNA-seq? The world may never know. Visit the new and noteworthy applications page to find out about our favorites tonight's bit report on RNA-seq. Thanks for watching. 
R. N. A. Seek. <laughs>